Don't you just love the smell of vomit in the morning? No points for honesty then. Honest would have been, can I have a few mates round, Val? You'd have said no. Well, we'll never know now, will we? Because you robbed me of the chance of being cool by making me disappointed foster ma'am yet again, which, by the way, I'm getting mighty bored of. I'm supposed to be the reckless one in this family. So anything else? Any deaths, assaults, attacks? There must be something, otherwise you wouldn't have fessed up. Belle was here. What for? Passy the parcel. Cider. And we didn't know till... until it was too late. Right, I'll only be an hour or so. Yeah, well, sports day won't wait. Except it isn't a sports day, is it? <laughs> He's got in. No, I don't mention guts. <laughs> All night, was it? Hey, what do team games teach kids, I ask you? That playing as part of a team improves everyone's chance of winning and not just your own. Ah, you should get drunk more often. You're quite quick when you're over. <laughs> Bye, David. Bye. Ring your sister. Yeah, I will. Unless this we're all winners nonsense, I am going to rock that mum's race. Tell you what, I'm going to kill the competition. When you get disqualified... Uh, when I say kill, Hannah, I don't actually mean that I'm going to kill them. Yeah, but aren't you supposed to be a mum? Um, half the women in that race are going to be like nanas. Not everyone lives with their biological parents. What would you do if Alicia rang me and said she wasn't coming back? Women do that. Not her. Uh, I wouldn't be that lucky. <laughs> oh. oh, sorry, did your head hurt? Only when I think. Right, painkillers. Tell you what, I'll go easy on you today. Because you're green and because we're celebrating. You've gone for the September wedding then. Yeah, we'll have to fit it around Jacob and Alicia though. I suppose. Yeah, they've got to be there. Right. Are you sure you're going to be okay looking after the shop today? If I must. Mm. How come he is on his way to Val's new place? Because mm, Belle was sick at the pack. Hmm. Is this at Lauren and Jamie's party? It was actually at Eric and Val's new place. If I just stand here and say nothing, will you leave me alone? <laughs> Tell you what, it won't be any good in MI5. Hiya. I'm distraught, David. Distraught? Shh. Did you speak, Judas? Yeah, gets anything out of that stuff. How about ungrateful girls? Because I am this close from a victim one. Yeah. Oh, I thought you were going to smoke in here. Yeah, well, compared to the alternative, this is air freshener. <sighs> Does my dad know? I'd rather he didn't. Hey, bit of a sly one, innit? If I was sticking up for you last night. Which means Eric was slagging you off. Probably deserved it. I can see right through your little act. <sighs> Look, I couldn't be any sorrier. Oh, you could, cos we're off to see Lisa in a bit. It's Belle's upchuck when they deep in. <laughs> I'm going to use these two as a human shield. Sam's finished the paddock fence. That's nice. We haven't seen the fence yet. He asked me to tell you. Don't be sarky. Oh, and me and Mum... Yeah? ...fancied London for a couple of days. OK. You disapprove. No. No, you've got some stuff to finish up here, but after that... ..go for it. You sure? Yep. Cool, thanks, Dad. Um, next couple of weeks, all right? Great. Just count to five. Am I that obvious? Well, you can talk to me if you need to. Yeah, but then who will you talk to? No one. Oh, no, I'll just shove newsletters to everybody's doors. It's like she's a carer or something. You know, she's got no friends her own age, just her mother. Who you've just split up from. It's hard for not to take sides. Well, even when one parent is clearly to blame. Oh, poor innocent you, hey? Well, yeah, in this instance. <sighs> it's not always the case. Right. Yeah, should we move on? <laughs> right, I was thinking of going into town later. Well, I could do tomorrow. And I might ask Mia if she wants to tag along. I like her. I probably would have asked her anyway. Great. You weren't... Serious about tomorrow, were you? Calm down, Jerky. Hey! What are you doing back now? Two mums got hurt. I'd uh, smashed into each other. How? Oh, they were waving at their kids while they were running. Yep, I heard the reds crack and I was miles away. Right in the middle of the mums race, which I won, but I didn't get me meddling all that fuss. Yeah, well, the woman did break her nose. Never. 
was blood on the top. Kids were screaming. Babies. Yeah, well, they are, aren't they? <laughs> so it was all called off and we got sent home. Yeah, a woman who broke her nose was a first aider. So. <laughs> <laughs> they thought they'd bring the kids back here, didn't we? No one asked me how I am, then. Self-inflicted, from what I hear. Yeah, Belle Dingle, naughty girl. Did you enjoy yourself? No. Not even with all the blood and screaming? Rachel wasn't nice. Who? It's just this woman. I'll, I'll tell you later. Right, who fancies making some medals? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> right, I'll put the kettle on. Come on. I don't care if you sack me. I had to get out and eat something puddingy. Well, you didn't have sinks on last night. Oh, did I get emotional? I'm all bitter and twisted. And you slopped a gallon of water. Yeah, I know. I remember you screaming at me. I was stressed. And then we had to go and apologise to Lisa. At least I spared you that. Is it just me or did I kiss that guy, Jared? Probably why you feel sick. Don't you work in the shop? Why is it shut? I needed a break. Heavy night, apparently, Alan. The details of which I'd rather not know. And that's why I love you. Well, if you're ill, you should go and see your doctor. And if you're hungover, you shouldn't drink so much. OK. Oh, I thought you were all for getting the sack. Oh, I can't stand being told off. All right. Is Jared with you? All right, he's working away. Sorry. Never mind, I prefer pudding anyway. Hey, pet, collect some glasses for us, will you? All right. Oh, by the way, total brilliant performance with Val. Actually thought you were going to cry. <laughs> Alex, how do you know him? Jared. Found the last year. Ask him about it with me, you know, in a bit. And I was trying to be tactful there, by the way, because I don't think he's into Hannibal. Seems dead interested in you. There's the skiving little horror. Yes, but thanks to you, we do have five new bookings in the restaurant next week. So you're just about forgiven. Food! Hey! <laughs> What's up with this? She's probably a bit premenstrual. I had a party at the new house and made a mess. <laughs> but you did clean up. David's got a fantastic new cleaning range. Is there anyone else out of this particular loop, or am I the only one? I'm saying nothing, Squire. Oh, I don't know anything. You don't count. Why do that? I don't know. Well, you'd better think on. Oh, yes, just like real life, this, when nobody comes second, everyone wins a gold medal. Shut up, David. So what did she say? She was right mortal mouth. Having a go about Samson. Like what? I, I, I couldn't follow it. I, I'm just glad when that lady hurt her nose and we could go home. Oh, Sam. Worst thing is, I've got to face her again in the morning. The school secretary is a friend of mine. Oh, good for you. Is that it? That's it. And well, he should add. Oi, hang on. Have you followed us? Yeah. I tried to do this nicely at school. <laughs> no, you didn't. Look at her. Look at the state of her. She needs her hair brushing. Apart from that, she looks all right. She's traumatised by him. Hey, just you hold it right there. Who are you? This is my house. <laughs> well, you want to get it in order. Hey, I, it's all right, Lisa. I couldn't even understand you earlier. You talk that fast. Well, you want to listen quicker, then. Have you spoken to Miss Parker? No, but... Yeah, well, you need to tell the teacher, and if she needs to call me in, she will. We don't even know proper what's gone on yet. Oh, I think we do. No, you think you do. It's the first I've heard about it today. I know your son's been bullying our Amelia. Tell it to the school. Right, if that's how you want it. I'll be in to see the head first thing. You're out of order, and so is your kid. <laughs> 